One. All right, you're on live, man. We do want to film. One of the one of the old Byron kits. All right. They were uh, they were pretty popular back in probably the 80s. This is quite uh, a thing. The 90s. What power is it? The well, he had different ones. It, he used um, mm -hmm. Rossi's, like Rossi 91s. All right. With a tuned pipe in it. Those were real popular back then. Does um, Kevin remove or is oh, Yeah, it's well, I don't, maybe not. Yeah. This one doesn't. I'm sure you can make it do that. Though. All right. His wings obviously yeah, go yeah, right into place. In, uh, I don't know who it was. Okay. They used to put a big air shoe on every year out there. Oh, well, we did. This is one hell of a plane. Yeah. Have these you were, have these you were nice kits? They were nice kits. Have you flown it personally? Is it your baby? No, no, no. The guy came in, uh, he sold, sold one helicopter and he was, he's trying to get rid of some of the stuff. Right. And he did some horse trading for this one. <laughs> and all he wants to do is, you know, he wants to do something with that. Could you um, hold it up for the scale so that so, so people can see? Oh, it's, it's heavy? Not too often you see a plane this size, especially in especially indoors. Let me come over like you got a like you got a shark. <laughs> there is his catch, man. What, what, what's this about? What five, eleven, six, almost six? It's a good sized plane. Unbelievable. I like to see this in the air. We were up at Markham and Bab this past November, and they they put on a pretty good show. They had the turbines were out, and they had a, a three and a three in a row. It's like a squadron. This one is a good candidate for a turbine. No. Yeah. It's big enough. Everything's so scale on it, and it's just so nice metal. I got a guy that probably works over at uh, works over at the hobby shop. He probably take this right now. This is something else. I gotta go talk to him, but I gotta yeah. figure out how to get it in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, windows down or top, maybe sunroof. I don't know. You know? I put my junk in there and then uh, yeah. I can do with this. Oh, that's that's <laughs> that's something. It's pretty neat though. Yeah, I'll say. Beautiful. That is just begging for a forward point of view, a little camera oh, going yeah. on right in oh, here, yeah. fully lit. And oh, yeah. just the detail on this thing is outstanding. Really nice. Looks like he's yeah, had some work decal, and paint yeah. and, you know, it's well, been he through. Was a, uh, he's had some. The guy had put a hatch in here. Oh, okay. And he, he screwed it all up. So this right. guy got in there. You see this, this bulkhead right here? Yeah. Yeah. He replaced this bulkhead. Oh, okay. The right way. Right. To make it, because you, you need that for the landing gear. Oh, yeah. You know. Very nice. Look at the scale on that. Yeah, it's got Beautiful. The scale gear on it. Six feet, just amazing. I bet you could get this bird. Well, once it's up in the air, I bet you could definitely get some power out of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, these, uh, these were good flyers. They were real good flyers. Just beautiful. What's the exact um? Cobb, what would you say, uh, like model number, not F-14, but uh, F-16. Yeah, this is like an F-16C. Okay. C model. This guy is... Uh, he has the, uh, that's the Edwards Air Force Base. In Texas? Yeah, it's in California. In California? Yeah, Edwards is the test center for everything. Okay. They're out there in the Mojave Desert. I was trying to think of the one in Texas. I was sounded familiar when you said that. Uh, I know what you're thinking of. Yeah. Now, when you see EV like that, yeah. that means Edwards. Oh, okay. Originally, it was called Murdoch. All right. Air Force Base during World War II when they, that's where they first started testing all the new fighters. And stuff. Yeah. Maybe the Saber Jet was tested yeah, there. Yeah, and and somewhere, I think it was in the late 60s, they changed it to Edwards Air Force Base. With that orange tail, you can really see it. Because, yeah. you know, you lose these things so quick. Well, that's the real, but the, the ones now are red. All right. They're not orange, they're red. I was telling him, he said, no, that's the original color they had on that stuff. That is something else. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that in, uh, well, a couple of weeks or what have you. All right. All well, right. Might, you just might. <laughs> That'll do it, man. And we got, uh, we've got wing. some wings. Yeah, that's a wing. Now, that's not a very large wing. Oh, no, I yeah. expected to see a bit a bit more wing. Let's see. No, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, when you put it in there, it's... Well, that really scales it up there. Yeah. That, that's it. And you know what? I'm going to come on up and... Get myself a nice perspective shot there. Oh, that is that is something else. That, that wing really brings the perspective oh, in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great, man. He was in the process. He was trying to 
I'm just trying to get it right. All right. Well. He did a little work here. Yeah. He was trying to go. He was, he was pointing my arm over there. This, that, and the other thing. Nice. Well, appreciate you showing us the plane and uh, happy landings. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I wing a little longer. Fly, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stop the video. We got five and a half minutes of magic.